It all started with us, the cavemen. Since day one, our people have always been where the action is. Sure, maybe not front and center, but if you're enjoying your modern civilization, you might want to send us a little thank you now. We're not that hard to find. We're right here beside you. We're really not that different from you. Just a little better look. I got a What's up, buddy? You ready for the beach? I got everything, man. I got the pump box. I got some mixtapes. I got sand shovels for both of us. And I got lemons for highlighting. Well, let's talk sunscreen. I figure we'll start off with some eight, get a good base going, and then just kick it up with the 15. Why are you acting like I'm going with you? Because you said yesterday you were. I said that so you'd leave me alone. Well, it backfired, because here I come, man. Guns are blazing, buddy. Come on, Nick. I feel like ever since I moved here, you and I just haven't hung out, just the two of us. You know, I, I feel like we're standing on the edge of the cliff of friendship, and all we have to do is just clasp hands and leap up. Oh, Andy, as much as I would love to enter into a homoerotic suicide pact with you, I think I'm going to have to pass on this one. I have a doctor's appointment. Oh, no. What's wrong? I got a little numbness in my posterior, so I'm going to the student health clinic. You still go to that place? Why not? I'm a student. You're 28. You need health insurance. Says the guy with the HMO. I am going to go get personalized care for free at the student clinic. And best of all, if you back up your car, they'll fill your trunk with condoms. No mm -hmm. way. Will they fill up your passenger seat with a woman? <laughs> Not even gonna dignify. <laughs> anyway, you have the added benefit of being treated by a caveman doctor. And that makes him better? Sapes don't understand our complicated physiology. You wouldn't take a dog to a cat doctor. Yes, you do. Yeah, they're called veterinarians. I know what they're called. My point is that they don't treat all animals. Mm, they pretty much do. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Do they treat whales? I win. So this numbness, is it like a dullness or a tingling? Like a dull tingling. How's your dingus? Any numbness there? No, my dingus is fine. So it's just the keister, huh? Yeah, just the keister. Nick, I'm gonna level with you. You have the ass of a 90-year-old woman. Okay, you made your point. I need to get more exercise. See that you do. Otherwise, you're looking good. I expressed your musk gland. Yeah, that was kind of hard to miss. Let's just have a quick look at your blood work, huh? Good, good. Fine. Huh. What? Huh. Well, your C-proteins are a little higher than I'd like. Okay, what are C-proteins? Don't you have some crude euphemism that I can understand? Don't worry about it. It's probably nothing. Aside from that, everything looks good. Okay, but the probably nothing part, if it wasn't nothing, what would it probably be? Nick, relax, okay? We'll get your full test results by the end of the week. And don't sweat it. Oh, and here, take some raincoats. They're free. So you look really beautiful tonight. Thank you. Let's head back to my place, huh? Oh, I don't know. I have to get up really early tomorrow. You haven't stayed over all week. I said you look beautiful. Yes, I heard you. But I really have to do laundry because I'm wearing my granny underwear with huge holes in them. Okay, you cannot tell me that and then not come over. Oh. I'm just gonna have Thorn drive me home, okay? All right. Okay. Bye. Hey. Uh, you're not going home with Joel? Nope. Uh-oh. Here we go again. What? I'm just tired. Tired of your furry friend? Three month Kate strikes again. I'm not three month Kate. Your name is Kate, and you always break up with guys after three months. Three month Kate. Look who's talking. Six hour thorn. Six hours is all I need. Thrombomodulin. Leukocytosis. This doesn't sound good. She's been acting kind of weird lately. Like, yesterday, she said she wanted to go home and do laundry, mm -hmm. even though she doesn't even have a washing machine in her building. She might be doing delicates. In the sink. I do my delicates in the sink. 
You have delicates? <laughs> Come on, Joel. You know my satin briefs? No. Why would I... Look, never mind. Maybe I've been taking it for granted. No. I just need to do some sort of grand gesture. Well, that's not a bad idea. Are there any, like, big events coming up? Birthday? Christmas? Andy, you know when Christmas is. I'm just spitballing, Joel. We've only been going out for three months. There it is. Three-month anniversary. Yeah, you know, girls go nuts for anniversaries, they right? They love it. You just gotta get her something really great. Like, uh, like some new pots and pans. Joel! Come on, man, you gotta think like a woman. Why don't I borrow your satin undies? That might help. Hey, pal. Hey. What's going on with you? Oh, I'm just dying. Nothing. I'm all backed up. I'm like a garden hose with a knot in it. Well, keep us posted, by all means. <laughs> How's your appetite? You have one? any pain in your abdomen? Yes, actually, I do. I think we're looking at a cancer situation. What? Really? I was pre-med for half a semester. The only thing wrong with you is that you've got too much time on your hands. Stay off the internet and stop obsessing. Your doctor even said, you've got nothing to worry about. If you were a decent doctor, why is he working at a student clinic? Look, Nick, we're gonna get through this, man. You and me, together, all right? Because whatever you've got, I've got it too. Up here. And if you need blood, I'm here for you, pal. That's I got... not a bad idea. I'll get my kit. No. Andy, do not let Maurice take your blood. If I were you, I'd see an endocrinologist. I have a guy who's a direct descendant of Ponce de Leon. Maybe he's on your plan. I don't have a plan. I don't have insurance. I'm talking to a corpse. Ooh. Hey. Thorne, hey, you got my message. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming. I'm just so out of my element here. Sure, Joel. But you know that uh, a three-month anniversary is not a real thing. Oh, I know. It's just that things have been kind of weird between me and Kate, and I just... I don't know, I, I want to do some kind of big gesture. Yeah, I wouldn't go overboard, though. Anything is fine, or nothing. Oh, look at this. Oh, do you think she likes sapphires? No, no, she does not like expensive jewelry. Oh, God, she is so funny that way. Oh, come on, I just want to get her something really great. Um, oh, you know what she really loves? Socks. Well, uh, like fancy socks? No, like the kind that comes six to a bag. Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Silverman. Hey, Dr. Silverman, thank you so much for seeing... So your symptoms indicate that you have an inflamed appendix. So it's not cancer? No. Oh, that is such a relief. I was so scared when I... I can do your surgery on Friday morning. Um, surgery? Is that necessary? An appendiceal rupture can cause peritonitis, which would lead to septicemia and eventually death. Friday's good. We need to make some more copies of your insurance information. Boom. <laughs> so, do you prefer being called Mr. Claybrook or Joel? Joel. Middle name? I don't have a middle name. It lists a middle initial B. Brian! That's my middle name. I know that because I'm him. Hmm. There you go. How are you holding up? Um, I'm, I'm okay. Well, good. That's good. Come here. I'm so sorry. Life is funny, isn't it? I'm not following. You know what? You're gonna find somebody because you're a catch. You're a catch of the day. Are, are you under the impression that Kate broke up with me? Uh, no. I'm just pointing out that life is funny. But you just said I would find someone. Okay, I was babbling. Sometimes my, my mouth gets ahead of my brain, and, oh, you can't imagine how many fat girls I've asked if they were pregnant. <laughs> uh, hey, did I say on my last message that I'm on my cell? <laughs> um, actually, I'm going to be home in, like, a minute, so either way works now. Dealer's choice. You being the dealer. Later, sexy.
Is that your phone? Yep, I have a message. I'll check it later. Oh, for God's sakes, honey, will you please just shoot him and put him out of his misery? I'm just taking some time to think about stuff, okay? You know what you should do? You should sleep with another guy. I'm serious. If it feels icky, then you'll know you're in love with Joel. Oh, it's mine. Oh, it's your daddy. Mom! It's different. The man is a turd whistle.